It's good everyone, it's Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. We're back on the road to number one in the world. Currently on the leaderboards, we're sitting at 826. I reckon if we have a good day today, we can definitely climb up to about 700, 600, something like that. But hopefully, hopefully we do. I mean, let's just hit right into the first jewels here and see how high we can get. So I think the top players in the world are around 1,500 at the moment. Should be interesting to see how we go against some of our opponents. But of course, as usual, they'll be moving around, we'll be standing still. And that is the, uh, the rules that I've set for myself. So this one feels like Czechoslovakia. Taking a look at the polls, I'm thinking it might be more Czechia here. Um, but actually, it looks like we've got a bit of a tinge of red in this one. So maybe that's more of a Slovakian plate. In which case, I could really just see Bratislava here. Um, yeah, I could probably see Bratislava. This is a, a, a Slovakian house number as well. So yeah, I'm going to go for Bratislava. Could be like Nitra or one of the biggest cities in the nearby area. Um, I'm not really... I can't quite remember... Does Bratislava... Okay, so it ends up being Pashitsa, so that is, that is a fine result. Um, but yeah, over the other side of the country, not the greatest. Um, next one here, uh, looking like somewhere in Russia, which is interesting. I feel like I should guess relatively quickly here. It's a little hilly, but not too much. Concrete kind of road here, maybe feels a bit further north. I don't know, I might just go Tumen here. I mean, it's kind of near the Ural, so you might get some hilliness. I could see it being all the way out over here, but also over here as well possible as well. So let's just hope that it's not a bad guess. I mean, yeah, ends up being all the way out over there, of course, near Bratsk. Uh, so not the best guess, but of course, it's better than his. So we will definitely take that. And uh, hopefully the next one is not something like this. We're on a boat. Uh, hopefully it's a boat I recognize. Um, and it is not a boat I recognize. Okay, so where would we be here? Um, if I see boat coverage, I'm, I'm always tempted to go for something like a, uh, an, a Greenland or something like that. Um, I think that's probably what I'll do here. The houses are pretty nondescript. Um, the sun is not really visible, so yeah, I think I'll just go for like a southern Greenland here. And it ends up being exactly where I clicked. Very nice indeed. Uh, only luck there. He, he, his guess is just fine, and mine is uh, very lucky. So, not a bad effort there, and we're greeted with something like an overseas US territory here, I would say. That's the way it looks to me. It kind of looks like Australia. Uh, but yeah, we do have the roof rack visible here, and I believe that is Guam. Um, I'm always not quite sure, but one of them one of them has the roof rack visible and one of them just not. But generally speaking, if it looks a bit wealthier, I think Guam is the play. I think, um, generally speaking, North Mariana Islands is a little bit poorer. Um, so that's one thing I've heard. I'm not really sure how useful it actually is, but I'm pretty sure with the roof rack we should be in Guam. And yeah, we're going to eliminate him there pretty, pretty swiftly indeed. So not a bad effort there, and uh, we'll definitely take that. Okay, our next opponent is exactly on a thousand um, rating. We gained seven from the last one, which was pretty nice. Uh, this one is looking to be somewhere maybe in India. I feel like I've seen a similar round in India before, so that's what I'm wondering about here. But does this architecture really fit? That I'm not so sure about. So maybe Costa Rica. Maybe Costa Rica snack bar, a bit of English there. Okay. It's an athletic stadium with some English around about the place. Um, could just be USA. Could just be USA. I'm not really sure what to go for here. The the sun appears to be more so to the south, so Northern Hemisphere. I mean, all the countries I discussed so far are Northern Hemisphere, so I'm not really sure how useful that is. But yeah, would you see something written snack bar in Costa Rica? That's kind of my question here. Um, also, the fact that it's soccer, I mean... Yeah, this is this is definitely difficult. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, but I think I may try Costa Rica. Or oh, could I don't know if there's Trekker in like like Dominican Republic or something like that. I thought of that as well. We'll go we'll go. Oh wow, Bermuda makes a ton of sense, and uh, he must have been able to move to something that that gave him the answer there. But uh, I still back myself to win this. I mean, it's just it's just the world map is kind of stupid because you just get really random trekkers, and if you're forced to stand still like I was there, it's not really too much hope. I feel. But anyway, what we got here, we, we appear to have some language that looks like Estonian or maybe um, maybe Finnish as well. We don't have any like yellow field in signs that I saw yet, so I'm wondering which of the two it would actually be. Um, yeah, I mean, it should be one of those two. So I think with the long antenna, I'd probably back Finland. So maybe just something in Helsinki could work here. But yeah, it is interesting. I, I actually can't quite tell the difference. When you're super urban like this, can definitely be difficult to tell the difference but okay um i'll trust i'll trust that um a lot a lot of the time in um finland you see t-i-e and wow it was just tallinn of course um and you was one of the two but t-i-e is generally speaking in finland and then it's t-e-e -E in estonia but we didn't see either of those so i couldn't distinguish them but 
at the end of the day, I don't think those were particularly finished street signs, so yeah. Okay, next one here, we have some wooden signs. Is this like France? I could see France here or Spain. I think the road lines seem quite French, but I could also see Portugal, which is kind of the concern here. So, I mean, I'd love to move around, but it doesn't actually feel like Portugal at all. I think it, I think it might be actually, so I might go for that. Um, if it's southern France, we probably get eliminated, but I have to go for something a bit risky here. I mean, we can take a look around now. Yeah, it is Portugal. Nice. So he gets Spain. Um, those kind of green painted wooden poles, I think, are quite common in Portugal, actually. So, so not bad. Um, and uh, what have we got going on in the next round? Maybe I should be putting on the pressure a little bit more against my opponents here, as soon as I know the country. But again here, this one's not that easy. I've got a bit of an Indonesia round here, I would say. Javanese roofs, perhaps? So I think I'll just go for Java here. This is what I mean, just trying to trying to put the pressure on a little bit more. But it's definitely Indo or Malaysia, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is definitely Indonesia if you come over here. So what do we got here? It says party. Ends up being, yeah, in central Java. His guess is right over there in Malaysia. So um, yeah, also we got a uh, chat, we got a chat box now. Or actually maybe I have not enabled it or something like that, but I think you should be able to uh, chat to friends. Maybe that's only in uh, friendly jewels, but yeah. Okay, this one feels like Guatemala, like, which is really good for the healing round actually so yeah i would say it's like either this city either guatemala city or this one over here um just based on the fact that we're on like a multi-lane highway and unfortunately for him uh, we're actually going to gain a lot of health back but so does he so it's it's not that bad for him and so we are moving on as i said i back myself to win even after the first rough round like it's okay um this one looks like nigeria and i would say it's actually kind of hard to pick where i'd say this is but we've got a big hill yeah, so probably pretty central. I mean, we get hills around here as well. In fact, I, I might, I could be tempted to go something like this because of the huge hill, but Abuja also has big hills between as well. So I feel like I should kind of click, click between, but we had, we had palms. So I had, I'm actually going to go a bit further south here. It was just Abuja. No. So he goes Lagos, which is, which is good for us, obviously, but, but I really could have like done some knockout type of damage there. Unfortunately, wasn't to be, but okay. Double damage now. It almost looks like Australia, but it's Europe. Um, and I would say, could this be like all the way south in Norway? Or is this just somewhere in... Wow, he's going to get a flag soon. So I have to go quickly here. Um, I'm actually not sure. I guess it's probably just Sweden. But because of the red houses, I don't think it's Denmark. But if he goes, that's fine. Um, is that a yellow plate? I think it's a yellow plate, honestly. So I would say if, if, if we see red houses, we're probably like all the way north or all the way in, like in Copenhagen. So I might just go for a bit of a water hedge here and it ends up being in Southern Denmark, which I find really interesting. Um, but hey, it's a good amount of damage. I mean, yeah, that yellow plate for the service vehicle in the distance really helped us out. And he probably saw that and, and guessed really quickly based on it. But but yeah, I mean, it, it was it was really helpful there. Um, red buildings are not typical, I would say, for Denmark. So kind of an interesting little round. But okay, next one here, we should be somewhere in Korea. And uh, I don't really remember my phone codes too well, um, but I would say this actually might be Southern. Um, to be honest, the rational part of me just wants to click right in the middle, so I think I'll just go Daejeon here. But I could easy easily see Daegu or Seoul as well, and yet yeah, it's just like Southern Seoul, so not a bad result. I mean, that's not going to be too much damage, only 698. So we're actually still ahead, which is kind of impressive, and we're going to get a quick Ecuador based on the bollards here. So if we go immediately in... Um, I'm actually not sure where in the country, so I'll literally just click middle, but hopefully he doesn't know the bollards, and then we, uh, get an easy win based on that. Um, if he does, then we'll, the game will continue, because I can't really lose too much here. And indeed, we're a little bit closer as well, so we're going to gain a, uh, a cool 900 points there, actually. Not too bad at all, but let's hope for a relatively easy round for the, for the, we just want easy rounds to coast our way into victory here, I think. Next one is another career, which is, yeah, what I was after, and it's fairly flat, so I think I'll just take it all the way south. It could also be around um around seoul as well but it ends up being jeju wow did not expect that but that should be enough for us to take the win here 2500 points of course it is um so yeah that is the game um we uh, get our qualification points whatever that is and we are in champion division now i believe this is my first time in champion division so let's go we made it there no moving pretty impressive and uh, i say we hit it back for another game there let's go all right so we got our new opponent here i mean hi so what's up? I mean, I might give him a wave here. Is there a wave one? I don't know, my custom emojis. I'll just do that. Um, so next one here, we should be somewhere in like Denmark or Germany or something like that. Is that a Swedish flag? Yeah, so I would, I would take it Southern here, just 
doesn't really feel that far north to me. Even though it's kind of wintry, it's also kind of like, I don't know, it feels quite green, quite lush. I mean, in a way that you might see in the south. We'll, we'll see if that logic is correct at all. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a Swedish flag. So, I mean, like there's a slight reddish tinge to the road as well, which is super Swedish. Ends up being near Got Gothenburg there, so it is southern. He goes Lithuania, so I get the feeling that he's not the most experienced player. That, that camera generation is not at all common or really possible in Lithuania. So, yeah, next one here. I think we put the pressure on again here. This one's really quite an easy Singapore. So let's go for that. And uh, hopefully he doesn't know, but... I mean, I have been too hasty and, and gone Singapore on um, on Hong Kong before, but fortunately, not. This is a this is a fine result, 15 points. He's not going to get flawlessly beaten on this occasion. I mean, hi. But okay, on to the next round here. Um, we are looking around at something like an Iceland, I believe. Uh, presumably, my opponent will work that out pretty quickly. But yeah, this is Iceland, and I can only assume it's Reykjavik. I mean, on the world map, it's a pretty good strategy to just go inside the capital city when you, when you feel like you're very, very urban anyway. And yeah, looking around the city, it's it's big in the way that I would only really expect Reykjavik to be. So let's see if my opponent is able to get it. Yeah, we can see some other place names there. And wow, we are two kilometers away. And unfortunately, I mean, high is a whole lot further away in, in, in Finland. So it's really good to put the pressure on like that. Um, We saw one of those Ds that you only find, the D letter. I'm actually not sure what it's called that you only find really in Icelandic and um, I guess also the Faroe language as well. My opponent puts the pressure on here, which is interesting, despite being so far behind. We have hills over there to our west, which is kind of interesting. Can I actually find ta uh, Taiwan? Goodness me. Um, I would say we could be even like somewhere down here. Yeah, so it does end up being quite southern. Is that enough? Um, it will not be, it will not be. So he survives to the healing round with 288 HP. Um, and uh, we are looking at a fairly generic one here. What's it gonna be? Maybe Argentina? Yeah, so I would say this is probably Argentina. That really looks like an Argentinian street sign. Black back of the signs also something you do see sometimes in RG. Um, it feels kind of Southern. So I would say it's Buenos Aires or further south. I would just go Buenos Aires here. And it ends up being Mar del Plata. Yeah, so it did have that Southern vibe. And of course, we really didn't need to, uh, he didn't need to guess so quickly. I was already on full HP, so he could have taken his time, but I like I like a dude who uh, who gets the game moving. That's very good. Okay, next one here. Uh, this this uh, this little antenna on the car here is apparently more common in the west of, um, of Guatemala, so I'm gonna give that a go. I think it's not 100% consistent. Ends up being in the north this time, so it must drive certain roads, but he's actually quite a bit closer. 200 points damage there, not too bad. And the next one here is double damage. So this is where I hope to end off the game. We're in Africa, it appears. And uh, which country is it going to be? It's going to be Ghana. And we have some palms. It doesn't feel too far south, though. So I would literally click in the middle for a round like this. Um, it could be Kumasi area. I don't really think Accra. But it could also be where I've clicked as well. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe it is further south. But but it's definitely nothing to, to be worried about this round. I mean, we can't get knocked out or anything like that. So let's see what it ends up being here. And it ends up being, yeah, Northern into Mali. It was not quite expected, but it's going to be double damage. Yep, 1,134. Just knock him out there. And uh, basically a flawless game there. So nine points gained. Let's head in again here. I mean, we can keep going until we lose, honestly. I'm happy to do that. Next one, it's I mean hi again. What's up? What's up, hi? And uh, let's, let's see if we can beat them once again here. So we've got a bollard of some kind here. Feels fairly Northern, not too mountainous. And I would just say going in the center here will be fine. Um, we got some snow poles here. I'm not really sure if anything like that is kind of helpful region-wise, but it ends up being all the way in the south of the country, the southwest there, near in the French-speaking sector. Okay, so next one here. Are we back again? No, this time we're in Germany. This is like a German... Um, this is German, this green H. You can also see it in Austria as well. We see bricks here. Um, telephone is 80. Um, I, I kind of thought this reminded me a bit of Hamburg. It's probably a northern city, but it says Hamburger Sparkasse there. So yeah, it's going to be Hamburg for sure. Um, yeah, so I was probably nearby here when, when I was in Hamburg. And uh, you can also see Aldi Nord here. So that's actually kind of a good meta. If you see Aldi Sud with the yellow on it, then you should be in the south of the country, obviously. But that one is the northern sector. So I think it, I think it changes over around. Uh, I think it changes over from Dusseldorf to Duisburg there. So as far as I remember, so kind of interesting. But okay, next one here. We are in Thailand, and I think we just go instantly in 
in Bangkok here. Hopefully there's no language around, although if he skips forward to here, yeah, he'll find some Thai language there. So, so should be no points exchanged here. Maybe I should have been a bit more accurate. It's probably more so out here. Uh, but to be honest, I really just wanted to go quickly and um, yeah, it is more out there, unfortunately. But um, pretty, pretty much even in terms of points there, nine points is uh, all we lose. And uh, we are heading into the next round here, which kind of looks like Sri Lanka almost, does it? Um, no, not at all, not at all. This one should be somewhere in Thai, I mean, in Indonesia. Now, can we actually, we've actually got a bit of, a bit, a bit in the way of clues here, but unfortunately, all the words in Indonesian kind of look like place names to me. That's just my, that's just my commentary on it. But I think these poles are definitely possible to get in Java. We've got big mountains there, but also these rice fields and a bit of flatness as well. So I think I remember seeing that those poles were in Yogyakarta maybe. I don't know if we have big enough mountains there, but if we were here, that would be possible. Ends up just being in West Java, so that's a fine result, um, but a good guess. Uh, just guessing in Jakarta is always a pretty decent option in Indonesia actually, because it's, you know, kind of quite central, but especially if it's a bit generic looking. But this one is looking to be somewhere in, is this Russia? I would love to move on this one because this is kind of confusing to me. We've got a black car, long antenna. I actually think it's Spain because we've got a eucalyptus type tree here. I really don't think you'd see that in Russia. So I'd probably go Galicia here. Um, but this could be the type of around that trips up my opponent if he gets out here and he doesn't see anything in the way of good signage. Um, but yeah, should just definitely be in Spain with this N with the uh, tilde or whatever it's called on it. Not tilde, but the... Uh, I actually forget what the within it, what the name of that is, but yeah, okay, we are really really close there, and uh, it's just the healing round, so he, he still goes to full health, guessing in the middle of France, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, I, I always forget about the healing round because when I play it with when I play duels with friends and stuff, I never go with healing round. Anyway, this one is South Africa, and I would say it's probably on the way to Durban, somewhere like that. Um, could be closer to Johannesburg, but when you see this kind of really red dirt and a lot of grass. Um, unless I'm wrong about the country here, it could actually just be Eswatini. Yeah, I think it's actually just Eswatini, huh? Wow, um, yeah, the, the dirt was probably a bit red for, for where I went in Durban, but fortunately, uh, it's not, not too far away, but yeah, I really don't know why I, uh, didn't consider Eswatini. Normally, it's not so green looking, I would say, um, but yeah, I really should have gotten that. Uh, next one here is kind of difficult. Uh, we have a Thai lamppost, I think. Yeah, it looks, like a, it looks like the type of car they often have in Thailand. So, yeah, I would probably just send this, like, central, central eastern Thailand somewhere here. And it ends up being all the way near Chiang Mai there. So, he had the potential to knock me out on a round like that. But 262 points is, is a fine result. And the next one here is, again, I mean, this would have been a really difficult round. No moving, padding, or zooming, potentially. But we've got the Argentinian car. How far north or south is this, though? That is a good question. I would probably just take it, like, a bit north of Nequen here. Um... It does not feel too far south. So if he goes all the way down here, we could win the game on this round. Um, it, it could be around here as well. Wow, it's... Uh, okay, did not expect that. So it's a really good guess, and he's going to put me on the ropes here. 2,000 points damage there. Uh, neck one was really a good guess. So some 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 questionable guesses and some good guesses from, from this opponent. This one's obviously just somewhere near Guatemala City or something like that, I could only assume. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And he does the same, and uh, we both we both reap the benefits of doing so. And that's just gonna be a 42 point difference there. So round 10, 3.5 times damage. The game probably ends in the next couple of rounds, I could only assume. Um, and we seem to be somewhere in Taiwan here. We've got mountains both sides of us. So I think it's really quite safe to just go inside this valley over here, click in the middle of it, and I reckon, reckon we're gonna be close. So it shouldn't be somewhere around here because we wouldn't have mountains both sides. It could be Yili, uh, Yilan, uh, but it could be anywhere in the south of where I've guessed here. And, that is kind of surprising to me that it's over, all, all the way over there. I guess, uh, I guess a good read from from I mean hi, and we uh, we continue to struggle against him on this on this occasion. He's really stepped up. But okay, here we have a Kyrgyzstan, not really my strongest country in all honesty. We have the dirty mirror, so that should be a Jalalabad area. So yeah, I think it's like around here in Jalalabad. Um, so a little bit of a cheeky meta, a dirty meta, you could say. Um, but, uh, but hopefully he doesn't know and we knock him out here. It's well possible four times damage. Well, no, he should, he should, he should not get knocked out here, even though our class get, guess is really close. Uh, 2,200 is all that's done there. So now we see, now we see, he's really stepped it up for this game. He's playing very well, 4.5 times damage. Um, and we appear to be somewhere in Eastern Europe. And I'm not sure of the country yet, to be honest. Big hills. 
80 speed sign. Could it be Croatia? Yes, it could be Croatia. Um, the heels are really tall. We have a lot of blue strips on the plates as well. Um, so could it be Romania then? Yeah, I don't know if Romania uses that. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, this run is more difficult than I thought it would be, to be honest. The fact that we have an antenna is interesting as well. So it can't be North Macedonia, which may have been one of my main thoughts here, but, but maybe I'm kind of wasting time here. I should just be going more quickly than I am. I don't know, this is just a difficult round. I would say that these mountains seem tall for... Uh, there should be something here, but the mountains seem tall for Croatia. That's what I would say about it. And the fact that we have so many blue strips. So what could this actually be? Greece? I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, it's not Albania. Because um, we don't have like the dark back of the signs. I think it's not Albania. We don't have any rifts either. So it would seem quite unlikely. Um, so then I guess Croatia and Romania are really the only leftover options in my opinion. Unless it's like a really bu weird Bulgaria or something like that. The guardrail is B profile. So yeah, I think we may be near the tallest mountains in Bulgaria here. So I guess it probably is basically the best idea just to go for a quick guess here at this point just because just because at this point like uh he may have found a sign for exactly where we are and knock us out but something about the fact that we have so many blue strips does not fill me with confidence here so i guess we'll find out real soon what that's about we got the guardrails that fit but we'll see about what it actually is and it's montenegro which makes a whole lot of sense and uh, he's not going to knock us out here but he's going to do another 300 points damage the romania guess he guesses in a place that's completely flat which is interesting but man that was actually not the hardest round and i kind of fumbled it but now we have a russia to redeem ourselves this could be fairly far south actually um but i don't know if i'm gonna go all the way south um no i think i do actually i think this is somewhere around here um, so I think I'll just go for it. It could be anywhere from Orenborg to where I've guessed, but it really has a southern, southern vibe. And so I'm hoping that's going to carry us through to the victory here. Um, we don't see any hills either, but like Russia's the type of round, this is the type of round where it ends right here. So let's see if we went, end it. And it is a little bit further north, but his guess is in Perm. So much too far north there. 6,000 points damage. We take him down, but well, well played. I don't really know um, what the GG is, so I'm just gonna, uh, send, I don't actually know, um, I'll just send that, I think that's the nicest way, I can't remember what the actual emojis are, but okay, 1123, still going nicely, we'll see what number, uh, in the world we end off, end, of, end off the video at, but I say until I lose, we may as well keep going. Okay, our opponent in the next one is 900 rated, I would say this one's somewhere in Peru, now, if you remember on my 80-something streak, I lost to a car with a number plate with this blue number plate, so I reckon that might be a really Peruvian thing, but this feels like downtown Lima. It could be one of the other big cities, but when it comes to the world map, as I say, it's, it's, it, beho it behooves one to guess the capital city at least some of the time, and that's really what this looks like to me. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to go, and uh, of course, it is actually downtown Lima, and our opponent goes for Rio de Janeiro, so kind of a tough start. He sends the uh, shaking his head emoji, uh, which is, you know, it's an unfortunate start there. I hate I hate South America being so big. When I was a newer player, it really, it really, uh, it really threw me off a lot of the time. But I think this is actually going to be somewhere in like Sabah. Um, but could it actually? No, we got a concrete road. So no, 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 no. This is a uh, is a pole top which you would definitely see in Philippines. And I think Luzon actually. We don't see any palm trees, or at least no, well, we see one or two, but but fewer palm trees. So it's, but when you get this kind of dry landscape, is what I want to say. It should be either southern or northern, but this time it's in the middle. So ignore my fake meta, but we get the two round knockout. So a bit of a different game to the last one. And uh, I'm going to say GG, if that is the GG button and uh, head into the next one here. Okay, this time we are against Yanko, who seems to have some kind of a uh, Yugoslavian last name, maybe maybe Croatian or something like that. But okay, this one, this one definitely looks like India, of course. I, I do wonder uh, whether, whether Nigeria is possible, but I believe it is India. And uh, in India, I don't really know where to go. Obviously, Maharashtra is a, is a nice hedge, always. Um, but I could definitely see Delhi here as well. But I think I'll go for Maharashtra hedge here and uh, hope that he doesn't recognize the Indian coverage. So, I mean, over here, will would he see something useful? Uh, yes, he probably did see a sign that said Delhi because uh, that looked like a really useful sign that's covered up right now. Um, can't quite see what it said. Maybe it wasn't useful and he just made a nice guess, but... Next one here, we have blue street signs, which is uncommon for the US. And I think that's because we're in Mexico here, but it did kind of give me an American vibe. So I might guess all the way up on the border here. 
Um, sun is to the... S I mean, I assumed so. What's the Google car here? I'd love to move. Um, but that's a short-ish number plate like you would see in Mexico. I think this is just North Mexico. Single yellow line. If this is Argentina, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. But as for this one, I would probably just take it in like one of these cities around here. So, I mean, is that too risky? I think I'll just go for this one here. I mean, probably is over here. But if it, if it ends up being over here, then I want that kind of middle hedge. Mexicali it was. So another nice guess from our opponent here. Uh, definitely started off strong, that's for sure, Yango. So, I mean, with with that with that kind of outline of his banner, I wouldn't expect him to be so good, but we're only two rounds in, so so we'll have to see. Make some nice guesses here. All right, the game could end here. It's Canada, and so I'm feeling like I should just make a guess here. Um, we've got English, so it's not going to be Quebec. I would just say this is Ontario somewhere. Um, let's go near Sudbury. Um, yeah, I mean, we can take a look around here. I don't really think there's going to be too much in the way of good clues. Ooh, those plates have red, so probably New Brunswick, I guess. It's actually Alberta. It really didn't remind me of Alberta. But fortunately, he goes USA, which I don't really um, understand that much. But but yeah, I mean, it was pretty It was pretty just in a parking lot. So yeah, next one here, we should just be somewhere in one of the bigger towns inside um, Mongolia. And I do wonder... If this is Ulaanbaatar, I wouldn't have thought so. But then I don't really know where else to take it. I'm not the best. So I'd probably just take it in one of these cities over here. Bulgan could make sense here. I think I'll go Bulgan, but but yeah, I mean, I do kind of wonder about like, hmm, yeah, that. Um, it didn't really get, I don't really know my Mongolia vibes. I should learn the country because it's quite learnable with all the meta, but yeah, definitely, definitely a tough round there. I mean, when you're urban, you really just have to kind of know what the cities look like, I think. Healing round here in Russia, I would say this was like really close to Ukraine somewhere. So maybe even, maybe even like this area here often looks similar. So I'll try that. And it ends up being, yeah, right, right close to Ukraine in Rostov. So not a bad effort there. A thousand points is pretty good for Russia. Um, but of course he goes to full health guessing in Czechia, which is a little annoying. But okay, next one here, 1.5 times damage here. Uh, what have we got going on here? We've got Nova. Okay, this is probably the type of, this is Czechia. This is Czechia. Um, I would go Brno. Yeah, I'll try Brno. It didn't really remind me of Prague that much. Not that I saw that much of Prague when I was there. Ends up being in Pilsen, so uh, not too bad at all either. We take we do a bit of damage here, some brightest lava, um, which is also quite understandable. Next one here, we are double damage, and we have what looks to be a South Africa here. I would say I've been practicing my South Africa recently. Um, yeah, so it's definitely South Africa. I'm going to take it a bit south of Eswatini, kind of near Richards Bay. Could even be further south, though, so... Yeah, maybe we'll just go there. I mean, where I clicked, I don't think it can be, but it could be, like, down here. It could be over here, so I think this is, like, a reasonable hedge. Uh, we basically just don't want to, like, lose here, I think. It could also be just Western Cape. Um, it is possible. So, I guess if, if it's there, then, well, it's certainly not. He goes in New South Wales, though, with the yellow outside lines. Um, and it's 6,000 points damage. So, I say GG Yanko, and, um, uh, we keep going. If we, we, if we don't lose, we keep going. Okay, next opponent is 800 rated. I get the feeling that against 800 rated opponents, we go really quickly and, and hope for the best. So this one should be Thailand. I'm not entirely sure even, but I just go instantly against this level of opponent, I think, and I really do believe that's the best tactics. This could be actually the wrong continent, to be honest. I really just went Thailand based on how red the dirt is and the fact that we have no Google car. Um, but it is Thailand, kind of a tough round there. Cambodia is a reasonable guess, so not too bad. The opponent's showing some strength here. But I doubt they were able to find any uh, signs or anything like that. This one, is it UAE? Um, the black back bottom, no, not at all, not at all. This should be Iceland then. Yeah, this is Iceland, Icelandic plates. I would go Reykjavik again. As, as I've said to you guys, I think there's a, there's a lot of benefits to just going Reykjavik when you see like a bus and like a two, three laned road, I think in Iceland. Generally speaking, that's, that's the way it's going to be. Okay, it does end up being Reykjavik there, of course. Five points damage is all we're going to net. And uh, the next one here says made in Sicily immediately, but I don't think we're in Sicily. Uh, so where are we? Oh, this is kind of tough. Um, I think this should be somewhere in Del Bari. I'm going to go straight for Bari here. Um, no, that's a double R. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, maybe it could even be Spain. We don't have blue on both sides of the plates, so I actually think it's Spain here. Yeah. So, probably Barcelona, could be Madrid as well. I don't really know when it comes... I'm not the best at Spain, I must say. It's probably one of my weaker countries. But, yeah, I, I would say this is... This is... Yeah, 
I think it said Iberia just then, so so yeah, I would say it's one of those two cities, if I am not mistaken. Uh, but kind of a difficult round. He yeah, we got we got the Catalan flag, so yeah, I like this guess. It is just downtown Barcelona, 800 meters away actually. Um, and uh, yeah, he goes in Italy, in Sicily, which is quite understandable. I should have just put the pressure on there as soon as I realized it was uh, Spain, but it actually took me, I should have checked the plates really early as well. I thought this was New Zealand off the bat, but no, not at all, it's just France. Probably Northern France if I thought that then, and I would probably go this side of Paris based on this house here, which kind of looks a bit more Irish or something like that. I don't feel like it feels full Brittany, but it feels like that kind of area, so hopefully I'm correct about that. We've got a French pole top over us here as well, so definitely gettable, and a really nice guess from Cezanne Cizar, Sill. So maybe they're French, or maybe they just uh, pulled a nice plonk out there, but Next one's the healing round, and I think we're about full health here, so we just basically go, it's green number plates, so Korea is one of the countries that fits for that, and uh, I think all the cars are basically K Korean cars here, so yeah, I think that definitely works. Maybe maybe not actually, but definitely some are, um, and it's Korea, so nice. Uh, it is in the center of the country, so they're gonna heal up to full, but so am I, so not, not an awful result there. Obviously, when it's healing rounds, you hope for Russia or something like that, so that they don't get all their points, but yeah. This one should be Greece with the, Greek, with the uh, wooden poles, I would say. Um, language is, is Greek, okay, nice, so we go straight in, um, maybe more northern here was my kind of vibe, but not really sure, so this is kind of just a bit of a hedge, um, we'll see, we'll see what it ends up being, but I kind of wish Greece didn't have Greek language, <laughs> kind of a strange thing, well, it was just Athens, of course, kind of a strange thing to say, but, like, it would be a really difficult country, were it not for the, uh, for the easy language, I feel like, and that would be really nice for these jewels. But that's just the way it goes, and we're on double damage now on a difficult round, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it should just be um, Switzerland, but I actually thought Japan off the bat. When I was looking this direction, I thought Japan. When I saw this sign, this is like a very Swiss thing to see this kind of metal edge on the side of it. And then this way, this is also a very, like, I think the Japanese one would be orange or yellow. Uh, and this one is black and uh, white and red. So, yeah, that's the difference there. And he doesn't pick up that it's actually low cam, but it ends up being Geneva. So I don't get that close anyway. 1,300 points is the difference here. Okay, next one here. 2.5 times damage. And we are looking at what appears to be a, hmm. Butza should be Hungarian. That's right. So... Yeah, I think this was probably just Budapest. I mean, it feels like a big city, and Hungary doesn't have that many big cities, so let's hope for the best here. It ends up being Budapest, so 55 points damage here. Still anyone's game, especially at triple damage here. And look at this, we're on Trekker. I hate world map for this reason. Um, what are we at here? Oh no, what is this? This is really ungettable almost, I feel. Um, these buildings... What is that flag? Oh, Danish flag. Thank goodness for the flag, bro. Otherwise, this was impossible. But okay, hopefully they didn't notice... Copenhagen is my guess here. I mean, wow. This is just like, can you even move? I can't even move, to be honest. So I do kind of wonder if uh, they can move. Wow. If they didn't see the flags, then they're probably screwed here, to be honest. Let's see if they did. And yeah, just downtown Copenhagen, 2.6 kilometers away. London was my first thought, to be honest. So really unfortunate there. I kind of feel bad for knocking you out like that. But the game continues. I'll say my GG with the uh, Zigline and we'll move into another game. Okay, next game here, we appear to be starting off in Indonesia. Um, Poles, I don't know, this is interesting, we've got a whole lot of palms. I did think of Sulawesi here, I think this kind of looks like a Sulawesi pole top, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try it out here, I'm not really sure how correct that's gonna be, but... Fortunately, this is round one where it really doesn't matter how close you are, like, if you get the right country, you will survive. It is still a Vessi there, though, so a good little start there. It's going to be 1,500 points damage, and uh, our opponent does seem to be someone... Like, they've got the purple outline. I still don't have the purple outline yet, so they've played more GeoGuessr than me in the last year, theoretically speaking. Anyway, next one here looks like, like probably like Southern Montenegro. So one interesting tip about Montenegro is that when you have the short antenna, you shouldn't have rifts, and when you have the long antenna, you should have rifts. So there's that kind of, like, difference and uh, it's it's quite useful, I would say. Um, but actually, this is uh, this is Croatia, so it just kind of looked like Montenegro to me. Still, the tip I said does apply, but um, yeah, got the country wrong there. Round three, though. Oh, let's see what we're looking at here. We do seem to be in Ghana, yeah. And I'm actually not too sure about north or south here, but I would probably just go central south. I mean, near Kumasi probably makes a bit of sense here. Ends up being in that area. Tamale, also a reasonable shout, but... 
probably just like was a bit too many trees, I would say, or something like that. I'm not really sure if that actually checks out, but next one here is kind of difficult. Probably Israel. Probably Israel, if I had to say with this curb. And it is Israel, so I think we put the pressure on hardcore here, and just in case there's no language around. It, it looks like there will be some language here. Um, yeah, so once, once, once our, our opponent gets here, they will, they will uh, be able to see that it's just in Israel, but on the chance that there was no language, it was a good idea to go really quickly. Um, and wow, we get exceptionally close there, two kilometers away. Um, we'll definitely take that, and um, hey, <laughs> it's not much damage, but it, it's a nice little flex. Oh no, oh no. So here we go, world map moment, where once again, oh, thank goodness it's a healing round. We're on max health, so I'll go Germany here. Um, we got Russian language though. Um, so this could be actually uh, Mongolia based on based on how the people look here. This could be Ulaanbaatar, and it ends up being all the way <laughs> there. So basically the perfect result for us because that was a really ungettable round on the healing round for our opponent there. But man, I would have been I would have hated to have lost off that round on 1.5 times damage or something like that. But okay, here we go. The next one here is kind of interesting looking actually. I've not worked out what country I think it is yet even what continent I think it is yet. I think it's actually going to be somewhere in Albania with this pole top. I would have thought Albania. So I think Northern Albania normally doesn't have rifts. So I'll probably try that, but maybe just near Tirana. Just does end up being south of Tirana there. So not a bad effort there, 282 points. And um, well, maybe I might have to end the video. I'm suffering from success here with all these victories. Like I, no one's no one's given me the biggest challenge yet. Actually, no, that's not true. We re there were really rounds where we could have lost, like on that Russia with high multipliers. But yeah, I mean, I mean, not too bad. So normally Croatia and Hungary have this uh, fire hydrant, and I would say this looks more like Croatia. So I'm gonna guess on the border there. Feeling pretty good about this guess, honestly, especially because it doesn't seem like there are many clues nearby. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, with this, like, winter coverage, it's normally going to be on the Hungarian border, I would say. Um, although you could probably see it elsewhere in the country as well. And so we are pretty close there. Yeah, the panhandle definitely has a lot of it, so I should remember that. But, yeah, 1,000 points damage is not a bad result there. Okay, Serbia's not a bad guess, though. He did a good job there to get that. And the next one here looks like Europe, surely. Yeah, I would say Germany. Well, yeah, definitely looks like it. Um, this kind of feels like the south to me. I could be wrong about that, but but I'm kind of tempted to go Munich here. Munich's a bit of a commitment, so why not Nuremberg? Why not Nuremberg? But just in case it is um, Ruggabit, which it really could be. I mean, if I was moving around here, I'd search for a plate that's unblurred, because like a lot of the time you can find them in Germany, and uh, they have the area codes on them, so for example that. Yeah, ends up just being Bonn, so southern Ruggabit. Berlin's not a bad guess, but yeah, 2.5 times damage gets us a thousand points. Now, if he was on top of it, he could have done quite a bit of damage there, I think, because that would have been, yeah, could have almost knocked us out. But okay, next one here is uh, looking kind of hmm, North Macedonia. Well, no, no, it has to be. It's basically, so we've got Long Antenna, we have Rifts. This should just be somewhere in, in Montenegro, I believe. Um, and uh, no, I can't remember what type of guardrail they use in Albania, but I'm pretty sure that's a way that you may be able to distinguish the two countries. This one, ooh, getting rather close there is Cam. Um, so yeah, really, really nice guess. 297 points is not bad for us though. It's good that he got his nice guess uh, on the round that's in Montenegro. That's, that's really a fine result. But this one could be hard. Um, yes, it could be. We got a... B okay, this is this is this is Czechoslovakia. I'm actually just going to click on the center because I feel like I, I feel I really feel like it could be out here. But 3.5 times damage is the type of round where you don't want to be too risky. Um, and uh, he, if he knows Bolarts, he survives. If he doesn't, then life is tough. But okay, it just ends up being central there. So yeah, not bad, not bad uh, play from Cam here. Really stepping it up. Um, at this point in the game. Quadruple damage now, and uh, this is one to be careful on. It should be Singapore, but it could be, um, could be, yeah, that's Singapore. So yeah, we're good, we're good. I, I, I do worry about Hong Kong. I, can, I have been known to confuse them, but this one really feels like quite central, I would say, probably, probably even closer to the center than what I've clicked, if I had to guess. Um, after having guessed, um, but okay, we'll see. And wow, yeah, exactly what I meant. He goes Taiwan there and the game is over. So GG to Cam there. Now the video has been going for quite some time. So I'm thinking I might just end it off there. Let's check out the leaderboard here to see what the actual result is. We've moved to 394th. We've literally doubled that place. That was far beyond my goals and expectations. And out of my friends, where am I sitting now? Out of my friends, I'm not even counted, am I? 
Um, so I guess if I'm at 1,157, I'm about 23rd out of my friends list. So not going too badly. Let's see if we can break the top 10 of my friends list next episode. That would be ambitious, but possible. Um, yeah, guys. So I say thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. Much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys in another one of these videos quite soon. So till next time, goodbye.